Hey, what's going on guys? It's DC. I'm coming back to you with another video video series. So this is going to be my first time actually documenting my process and my thoughts and I guess beliefs on QT. So um, as the title began earlier, um, there's a reason why I'm QT. Um, the why was I just got tired of losing fish, you know, popping and dropping, which I'm not, I'm not hating on nobody that pops and drop, but for me, that just, that just don't work no more. So I decided to, you know, get a whole QT set up, you know, cause my favorite fish are tangs, you know, especially the powder blue tang as you can see in my logo. And I, I, I don't know how many powder blue tangs I've bought over the years well over 20 <laughs> and you know they just don't make it so i want a qt and i have i even bought what i thought was qt you know tangs and stuff but you know i really didn't know for sure you know and this is the only way i would know for sure if a fish got qt is if i do it myself and more important than the qt is the actual um condition in another fish so um some places sell qt fish um there you go look at my pot of blue right there it's my baby <laughs> but um yeah mo most so some people sell qt fish and some people sell condition fish um of course i want to do both so i want to condition them to aquarium life which meaning you know my my salt brand mix you know my temperature my ph most importantly the foods um, that I will be um, feeding the, the main display so like the um, the different flake foods the different um, pellet foods the different uh, frozen foods I want to make sure they have a nice palette of different foods that I have access to that they will eat so we're gonna go over it you know in depth over this video but this is like a for me this is a challenge um, I will be doing 30 days of this group of fish, which are like, we well, got five fish, got two, two damsels, um, two tangs and a fox face. So this will go on for 30 days. So with this QT system right now, I have two tanks. I call this small one, 10 gallon QT one. All of my equipment is labeled QT with a black Sharpie so I know not to cross contaminate this with any of my reef tank stuff. So I wanna be extra cautious. Um, actually, um, when I first got the fish, I had them in a white, a, a orange bucket. I had switched some bad boys over to a white bucket. Um, this Hannah um, checker, I lost my original one when I moved and then I, I bought another one. And then I found it. So this is gonna be the QT one. Um, as you can see, I labeled the QT. Um, at the at this moment, it was read 1.026, but I end up getting it down to um, 1.024. With a sex with the number set. 10, 24. Okay. 1.024. That's okay. perfect. That's my guy. Perfect for the, for the. Um, so after I them for an hour, you know, I was able to put them in the tank. You see the two compound dazzles go into the um the 10 gallon. Now the fox face, I didn't want to grab that one by hand, so I ended up using a net. And um I put them in the tank. <laughs> now as for the tank, the blonde ace over to the beautiful tank. Um, and that's what the woman is like, in the um, Along with the powder blue tank. That one did a flip. As you can see, me, um, Stop running away. Hand. Uh, my son wanted to uh, touch him. You're trying to get the wind in your tank. Can I touch him? Okay. 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 Uh, this one was small and had a nice dark blue um, coloration, so I'm really gonna do my best to uh, make sure these guys are healthy. 
That's, and that's my favorite fish of all time, powder blue tang. So. Now those white spots on the um, nasal tan, I, it didn't look like it. It almost looked like a stress. You know, almost like how the fox face does that, you know, different coloration. Um, again, it's another look at the uh, pot of blue. It's looking really good. No signs of any external parasites. No heavy breathing. Swimming around good. Um, so I got these um, guys from reefbeauties.com. And I'll talk a little bit more about reefbeauties.com um, in the next video. So that's it, guys. And that was um, episode one. Tomorrow, I'm going to attempt to feed them, continue monitoring them, and see how it goes. So, yeah, stay tuned. Um, if y'all watch, y'all watch. If y'all don't, y'all don't. Doing this for my uh, <laughs> my document. And so I accepted the challenge. I'm going out full out QT. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.